All right, guys, I'm going to give you five things you need to do to get rich in this recession. The last recession is when I started this very company, which has now been in business since 2009. And I have a lot of lessons to share with you. And some of these things are not going to seem that obvious. So stay tuned. Welcome to another episode of Hustlers Kung Fu, sponsored by Hustlers Kung Fu Lifeskills.com, where we teach you how to manage your money, how to start businesses, and get your hustle on. Be sure to go below to check for the best deals and go to the website Hustlers Kung Fu Lifeskills.com and poke around and see how we can serve you. There is a few things that you need to understand, and the first thing you need to do to get rich in this recession is have a purpose. One of the reasons that so many people are not successful and they're just kind of aimlessly float around life, they have no purpose, they have no intent, they're just, you, you gotta have a purpose. You have to have an overarching purpose. When I started this company, my intention was to be a writer, to write a book. That was my intent and I had a written plan and I had benchmarks, all of which gave me tons and tons of purpose and energy and drive. So you gotta have a purpose. Just being out here, I'm trying to get rich, I'm trying to be a millionaire, that ain't gonna cut it, it's just not. Second thing that you need to do, you need to educate yourself. There are so many people who are woefully ignorant, ignorant as the day is long, they don't look at data, they don't do any research. You need to become a research junkie. You need to live on your research. And let me give you some examples. When I came online, I was a seasoned business owner. So I already knew that I had to do a lot more than what I knew. Because even though I didn't know what I didn't know, I still had a fundamental understanding that I was going to have to do a lot of research. I was going to have to do a lot of digging. So I came prepared. And this is one of the problems where many people fall short. They don't understand what they don't know. And based upon that fundamental level of ignorance, and I'm not trying to be insulting, if you don't know something, you are ignorant, amp up, and they don't start doing a lot of research. So you're going to have to start doing a ton of research to know what you're getting into, to know how the money's going to flow. Because when I got into this business and the research is going to lead you, because let me give you an example. My first book was supposed to be a book on relationships because relationships books were hot. It was something I was deeply interested in, but halfway through that process and I was doing some research, I didn't want to be the relationship book do because that was extremely limiting based upon my research once you write a relationship book all you could do is sell your book and you can go talk on these panels and that was really no way to amp that up unless you're already a celebrity or something i actually know Deneen milner is the one who ghost wrote steve harvey's book she was a facebook friend of mine and i, I just kind of looked at it. it was so limited and it, and also it was going to put me in a box once I wrote that book, I was going to be forever the relationship book dude. And that is a tag that's very hard to get away from. And I didn't want to be in that box. So I was doing a ton of research and I was on the internets. And believe it, some of the best information you're going to get is from, from someone, someone who doesn't, who doesn't have, have a large, large following. Follow is, from is from someone, someone who doesn't, who doesn't have, have a large, large following. Follow is, from is from someone, someone who, doesn't who doesn't have, have a large, large following. Follow I know that we're all enamored with Grant Cardone, Ben Mala, all of these people with large followings, but some of the best advice is going to come from the little corners of the internet from people who have done it. And I found some information that proved to be very profitable to me at some random blog. And this is one of the things you're going to do a lot of research. You're going to do a lot of digging, but there's only going to be a few pieces of gold or diamonds, but I'm here to tell you when you get a diamond, it's going to shine like you won't believe. Another thing you need to do to get rich in this recession is to serve your fellow man. Right now we have a lot of people rent seeking. I had an idiot comment about you don't understand about what Bitcoin does. I understand that Bitcoin doesn't pay cash monthly. Understand that. I understand that so many of you, feel that 
you only have one shot at making some money. And this is why Bitcoin is so popular, Amazon FBA. You feel that this is your best shot. And I'm here to tell you, if you would humble yourself and you would start to serve people and go and ask yourself, what can I bring to the table to help someone else out? If you would go through that fundamental process and you think of some product or service you can do, you can become rich in this recession. When I put out my first digital product, which was making money A to Z with self storage and auctions, I was very honest because I wanted to serve people who bought my product well. And I got a lot of great reviews and I got a lot of people who loved the content because I was serving my fellow man. I was creating a product that will help someone make money and have a better life. That's a level of service. So if you can think of a high level of service, if you can create a product or service to help people, they're going to literally throw money at you. They're, they're going to be like, here, take my money. And this is one of the things that people who are doing rent seeking, trying to buy stocks, trying to be a trader, trying to buy Bitcoin. And this is why most of these people fail because their pursuits are deeply instilled in being selfish. It's all about me. It's all about me getting the bag. It's all about me securing the bag. I've been here on YouTube for 10 years making money, living well, eating well, doing well because I have a high level of service. So if you're broke or you have trouble making money, you should look at your service because if you go ahead and do become uh, create a high level of service during this recession, you're going to get rich. One of the things is that everyone is freaking out right now and people are starving, people are tripping, people are in a situation where they don't have any money, they haven't prepared, they're, they're, they, they don't know what they can do to improve their circumstances. So they're off axis and they, they're not even thinking about serving anyone because I'm here to tell you, if you sit down and be practical and figure out a way to serve people, you're going to make money and stop thinking about securing the bag. Stop thinking about getting paid, stop thinking about being a millionaire and put all your time and energy into serving your fellow man. I'm telling you, it puts money in your bank account like nothing else. Another thing you're gonna have to do to get rich in this recession, you're gonna have to work. I know I said the W word and these folks who are trying to get money through investing, stock trading, even the most successful traders work a lot. The successful people who do Forex, who do day trading, they work a lot. They have routines, they have schedules, they have to put in the work. So one of the things you're gonna to have to do is to get away from your lazy do nothing ways and be ready to put in work. One of the things that happened to me is before I came to the internet, I used to work five to seven days a week, 12, 16 hour days. But here's something that's gonna be remarkable. I enjoyed what I did. So it was like hard work, I was sweaty, I got tired, but at the end of the day, I felt a sense of satisfaction because I was doing something that I loved. I was doing something that made me a lot of money and I was having fun at it. So when I say work, don't go ahead and start working in something you have little interest in, that someone told you is a good way to make money. Investigate and find something that you enjoy because this is your opportunity. You know, as far as we know, we only live one time and I can think of nothing worse than working in a business or doing something and not enjoying it. It makes no sense to me, but many people do this. And essentially you're going to create a business, which is a job that you don't like because of the money. And many people erroneously do this. You're going to have to put in the work. Another thing that you're going to have to do in this recession to get rich, is to be prepared. And this is why I saved this one for last because a lot of people are gonna have a problem with this. If you're one of those people, one of those poor, misfortunate people that was told to go home, you don't, have, you don't have a job, you don't have any savings, you don't have good credit, you don't have high credit limits, this, this opportunity is probably gonna miss you. I know that's brutally honest, I know that is brutally harsh, but I'm here to tell you that the opportunity is gonna miss you because you are ill prepared to take advantage of opportunity 
unless you come across some serious hookups or some serious luck because there will be people who are in the position who are going to create magic out of nothing and they're going to be really ingenious they're going to be really hard working and they're going to go do their thing because i give you an example of someone who was prepared christina Velagers, i think she's a stripper who has a youtube channel and even though the strip club is closed, she has a YouTube channel that pays her $7,000 to $30,000 per month, depending on what she puts up. And I have a feeling since she's not in the club shaking her booty, she's going to be putting up a lot of videos. I cannot underestimate proper preparation. And you should be always working on something to create a better life for yourself. Um, many people during this pandemic are going to come to some different conclusions in how they used and how they spent their time. A big part of being success is, successful is preparation. And there are many people who are properly positioned, they have little to no debt, they have money in the bank, and they have time. These are the, going to be the keys to getting rich in this recession because last recession, I had no clue to what I was getting myself into when I started on this journey. I did not know. My goals were super simple. I wanted to be a writer. I wanted to get a book deal. I wanted to make $50,000 a year. I got way more out of that because I went in with a plan, purpose, and preparation because I had enough money to live on for a few years easily while I built up this business because I was prepared. And that's why the opportunity blessed me with success because many of you are looking for an instant quick come up. And the recession could have been that thing if you were prepared. If you didn't go out and get yourself a Hellcat and be spending $1,200 to $1,600 a month for a car, when you do things like that, you limit your future options for here and now satisfaction. In that garage, my cars, I paid cash for them. My cars were paid for before I drove them off the lot. And this is one of the things I know the people don't like it when I preach like that, but I'm going to keep saying it because it works for me. It works for the people who listen to me and it works for the people who take the advice and put it into practice. It works. Getting prepared. Stop doing crazy stuff with your money. During this recession, everything's going to be on sale. First, there's going to be sales. Then there's going to be clearances. And then once the clearances are, are in play, then we're going to start to see a turnaround. I don't know how long it's going to last, but I can tell you we're not at the bottom of the stock market. This thing is still rolling forward. We still have a lot of carnage to be worked out the pipeline because I can tell you if there was an instant cure where we had uh, able to inoculate these people where they would not get sick, it would take six months to a year from where we are right now to turn it around. And each month that it gets worse, you could just add four to six months for correction. So right now we're already in a position like if someone came up with a magical conclusion, uh, a magical potion to fix all this, just like that, we're still looking at six months to a year to repair the economic carnage that has already occurred. I want you to think about that. And we're probably going to go down this path of shelter in place and being at home for another two months. I mean, if we can only do it another month, you know, after April, I would consider us to be lucky, but I'm thinking this is gonna go into June. And God forbid if it interferes with football season, which is one of my fears that it could, or we can have a second wave of infections. These are the times that there's gonna be so much opportunity. And each day, there's opportunity right now. Even in the good times, there was a lot of opportunity. And during a recession, the opportunity is going to be 10x. It's going to be 20x. That new truck you were looking at that was 55,000, during this recession, it's going to be 25,000. That building you thought that was out of your reach, that was like 1.4 million, that building's going to be $700,000. And the owner's going to work out some kind of terms because everybody's going to be looking for cash. If you have cash, you have a crown on your head. You are king if you have cash. And this is to all my Bitcoin and gold buyers. Let's see what you do. Let's see what you guys do in the, during this recession. Let's see how well you fare buying Bitcoin and buying gold. 
because the people who are going to win in this recession are the people who are going to take action and they're going to the people who are going to start businesses and they're going to start participating in the game. Like I'm really thinking about day trading because the market is so volatile and this is a perfect environment for day trading. I feel that day traders are making money hand over fist because the environment is ready and they're ready. They're already day trading. They already know their technical analysis. They already know their setups. And I, I would be shocked at day traders. Day traders are like rubbing their hands together. That's like, yeah, let's have another crazy day in the market because I'm going to make some money. And this is the thing about being prepared. When you're prepared, you can make money in any environment. Doesn't matter if it's good times, bad times. Once again, my sales are gone up. I'm going to make a lot of money during this recession. I'm going to make more money during this recession than I did in the last month recession because now I know what's going to be happening. Because let's say unemployment reaches 30%, which I feel that it may. That still means 70% of the people are going to have a job. And these 70% of the people are going to be scared. Because they're going to like, they got all these folks out here who are going to do some double monkey backflips for a happy meal. So these folks who have jobs, they're going to be scared. And they're going to actually start acting right and showing up early and doing their job to the best of their ability. Because it's going to be scary. It's going to be rough. And many of these people who still have a job, they're thinking... I might need to be starting my own business and they're going to come to the YouTubes and they're going to find your hustling godfather and they're going to enroll in the course. And they're going to start changing their lives. I am ready for this recession. I am sad that what we have is killing people. It is what it is. These are the cards that we're all dealt and you can play the cards or you can put them on the table and walk away from the table. I will choose to play the cards. I'm gonna continue to make content. I'm gonna continue to make courses. I'm gonna to continue to market. I'm gonna to continue to advertise. And this is one of the things that many businesses who don't have any money or low cash flow are making a mistake. They're cutting back on their advertising. This is the time to advertise like a madman. This is the time to get market share because your competitors are not advertising. And these are things that we're going to talk about in upcoming courses and chats that I'm going to have with you guys. This is going to be probably the easiest time for you to start a business than ever before. And I know that sounds a little odd, but it's going to be easy. And I'm going to tell you why you're going to have less competition and stuff is going to be cheaper. If you're prepared, this is the best time in the world to start literally any business. There are recession proof businesses, but there are other businesses that the world needs that because it's going to be so cheap that your startup costs, let's say before the recession, you, you would have needed $150,000 to start. Because of the recession, you can maybe start this business for 15 grand. 15 grand. One tenth of what it really required before because things are going to be so cheap. These landlords are going to be throwing massive deals. It's like, well, if you sign this contract, we'll give you a year of free rent because they're going to need cash flow. All of this crazy stuff is going to happen. And if you're prepared, oh my God, Becky, look at the money on the table. But if you're not prepared, if you're an average American, if you're scared, if you've gotten laid off, if you got yourself laden with a bunch of debt, uh, this opportunity is going to miss you. So hopefully you've been subscribed to the channel. You've been listening to the message. You've been listening to recession talk because I tried to get you guys ready because I knew this was coming. I didn't know that this bug thing was coming, but I did know this economic carnage is coming. And actually it is much worse than I really thought was going to happen because I thought we were going to slide into a recession based upon economic factors. And now we're sliding into a depression. And if you are ready, like Wells Fargo became one of the largest banks in the United States during the Great Depression because they were buying all of these defunct thrifts, these banks that were going out of business. They were buying them up left and right. So there is opportunity if you're prepared, if you are ready to rumble, if you're ready to pull up your sleeves and get your hands dirty. There's a lot of money out here for you. There's money out here with your name on it. Claim your money. That's all I got for you guys. Be sure to watch this next video because it's going to be really good. And it's going to be something to help you out.